What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. The day is finally here guys. 25 unique fungo sodas to open up. There's the 25th if you're wondering where it was. This video has been a long time coming. Cannot wait to get into these and see how many chases we pull. <sighs> Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. As I said, we are finally here. 25 unique fungo sodas to open up. This video has been a long time coming. I've had some of these sodas for over six months. I teased this video to come by the end of December, then by the end of January, then by the end of February, and then I kind of went quiet. And here we are finally in the first week of May. I finally have 25 unique fungo sodas to open up. We're gonna do this the same way as we did the other videos last year, where we're gonna categorize everything and that will be as follows. We have animation slash anime with Chef Colette, Suyu Asui, Shoto Todoroki, Sarada Uchiha and Santa Jack. We then have DC slash Marvel with Batman Beyond, Two-Face, Doctor Fate, Jon Stewart, Moon Knight, Winter Soldier and Holiday Groot. For TV we have Ron Swanson, Ted Lasso, Song Ji-hun, Steve Harrington and the Demogorgon. Then for movies we have Frodo, Sauron, Irwin, The Predator, Patrick Bateman and and Queen Amidala. And then we finish things up with the two three litre sodas of Maleficent and Juggernaut. Let's waste no further time guys and get to our first category which is anime slash animation. Alrighty guys I've pulled you in a bit closer because it's important you see the money maker but even more important you see the soda and the figure. We are starting off with Chef Colette limited to 10,000 pieces. That is the common right there. The chase is with her arms folded of course from the Pixar movie Ratatouille which I absolutely love. Let's see then guys, last time, well, I was trying to remember like when I opened up 50 unique Funko sodas, that may have been about a year ago now, I know I got 11 chases, I didn't actually check the last time I opened up 25, I think maybe 6, if memory serves me right, oh there we go, Man. first one, a finger killer, here we go then, let's see what we get guys, I'm going to try obviously not to look and not to show you guys either until we kind of get it out of all the wrapping like they, they put so much wrapping on these now it makes it difficult uh, for these soda videos but here we go then guys we've got it out our very first one we have it is just the common as you guys can see there where she has I actually don't know what it is just like cooking utensils right I guess she's like stirring some soup or something like that yeah pretty cool figure and we'll double check the pog just to make sure but I already know it's the case. Yep, there we go. There is the POG, guys. Over here in the UK, like international, the uh, if you guys didn't know, the POGs uh, for the non-chases have a colored background, whereas it's the reverse for the US. The chase version is the one that actually has the colored background, and it's a white version for the uh, commons. But there we go. One out of 8,400, which means the chase is one out of 1,600. Next up, guys, we have Santa Jack limited to 15,000 pieces. That right there is is the common the chase is black light so it will be very very obvious if we were to pull the chase uh, yeah this is one of the ones I've had for a good six months because I wanted to try and get this video done by Christmas or like by the holidays because some of them are holiday themed of course this being one of them but it just didn't happen I don't collect every single soda um, it has to kind of fit my collection or be something I like nightmare before Christmas very much something I like you know what guys even though I'm trying not to look, it looked pretty darn colourful uh, in the wrapping. There we go. We did indeed get the chase. Our first chase of today's video and it comes with the second soda. Blacklight Santa Jack. Yeah, that is pretty cool. If I, go, if, if I show you all the way around, lost my words there for a second and if you guys did want to see the pog to be sure there it is that's what i meant in terms of international versions the ones here in the uk the uh, chase version is the white pog and it says here on the back you found the chase santa jack black light one out of 2,500. So yeah, not a completely limited chase, but still cool nonetheless. And then on to our anime guys, we have Sarada Uchiha from Boruto, limited to 6,500 pieces. There is what the soda looks like. The chase is just metallic, so it will be the same pose, just obviously that metallic paint finish. Yeah, that, sorry, the wrapping on this one was a little bit weird. All these are fully sealed though, I should say. Never buy an unsealed uh, soda 
from the store. If you ever guys like, if you guys ever see uh, the can like open up, not sealed, don't buy it. Someone already looked at it to see if they got the chase because the pog, of course, tells you if it's the chase or not. So let's see what we get here then with Sarada. I still haven't watched Boruto. Massive Naruto fan. Um, if you guys don't follow, you, well, if you guys do follow, you'll know I'm a massive Naruto fan. If you didn't follow. There you go, I am, but I haven't watched Boruto just yet. We'll get round to it eventually. I'm watching One Piece at the moment. Would love if they made some One Piece sodas. But here we go then, guys. What did we get with Sarada Uchiha? It doesn't look metallic from behind. Doesn't look metallic from the front either. So yeah, pretty sure we got the common. But you know what? That is a fairly cool soda. I do quite like that one. Let's just double check the pog. Yep, yeah, there we go. As you can see, it's the colored background there of Sarada. One out of 5,450. So yeah, what, five, 1,050? If my ass is correct for the chase. Then guys, we have Suyu Asui limited to 12,500 pieces. There is the common, the chase is like that transparent version of her. They did make a Fungo Pop of it as well. So again, it will be very obvious um, if we, man, there's no like hole to poke in there. I was about to say it's gonna be very obvious uh, if we were to pull the chase. Uh, My Hero Academia, another anime that I love so much. Have only just recently finished watching season six, the latest one. I'm pretty sure it was season six. Fantastic, best season so far if you haven't watched it yet. So, so good. But let's see then guys, what are we gonna get here with Suyu Asui, who I really do like the character. I have actually met the voice actress, the English voice actress, I should say, Monica Rial, who right there. You guys, ah, this is probably the literally the one where the light's bouncing off, but that's her pop right there. Here we go, guys. Okay, we just have the common, but it's still pretty cool. I do quite like it. Like the anime fungo bops always have good details, and so do the anime fungo sodas. Let's just check the pog. There you guys can see Suyu Asui. Wait, why is she on a white background then? If it's not the chase, I mean, I know it's definitely not the chase. It doesn't say on the background, but you guys can see there, one out of 12,000. Hold on. 12,500. Huh? One out of 12,500. 12,500. Did she not have a chase? I'm absolutely positive. Like her chase was the, um, that transparent version. If, if I can find a picture, I'll pop it up there for you guys, but... Not too sure. Maybe the uh, yeah, maybe the international version doesn't come with a chase because these are all international editions. If it wasn't obvious, there is the marker right there. Next up, we have Shoto Todoroki, also from My Hero Academia, also limited to twelve thousand five hundred pieces. There is the soda. The uh, chase version is metallic, so again, it should be fairly obvious. But um, if it's going to be like that Suyu one, uh, I don't know. Um, man. They're not giving me a way in. There we go. I've made like a little bit of a hole. Finally, there was like no opening on there to get this wrapping off. Nothing at the top, nothing at the bottom. So, oh, and even the, man, even the, well, it wasn't as bad in the end, but it felt difficult to begin with. And one I'm complaining. Here we go then, guys. Shoto Todoroki, one of my favorite characters in My Hero Academia. Have we managed to pull the chase for one of my favorite characters? We have not. No, it doesn't look metallic. Still looks really, really cool though. Icy hot, of course, um, as Bakugo calls him with his ice and fire powers. Yeah, that's a really, really cool soda. I do like that one a lot. Here we go then with the pog. Okay, so there we go. This one does actually have the, uh, the color background, and it does say one out of 10,500, meaning the chase is one out of 2,000. Yeah, I just don't know what was up with that, Suyu. All right, guys, we're on to our next category, which is Marvel slash DC. We have Holiday Groot here, limited to 12,500 pieces. There is the common, though the chase is glow in the dark, so won't be too obvious. We'll kind of have to, like, feel it up a little bit. Sorry, that sounds a bit weird. But um, that then, because, uh, like, glow paint has that kind of texture to it, so you would know uh, if it does glow. We've got actually quite a few potential 
glow chases. So for any that we do pull, we'll save the glows till the end to see how they are. So here we go then guys, Holiday Groot. I still haven't caught the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie just yet, but I'm hearing really, really good things, really positive things about it, which is great because I did love the first two movies, especially the first one. I thought it was one of the best, uh, most surprising Marvel movies uh, at that time for sure. So here we go then guys. I've already had a feel of it, which is a bit kind of cheating before I show you guys and I'm pretty certain it is just the common uh, Groot here with all these kind of holiday Christmas baubles, lights, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so the glow would have been really cool but yeah, I'm pretty sure it is the common. It is indeed. There is the pog for you guys. Groot, that's a pretty cool pog. I do quite like that. One out of 10,500 so that glow in the dark chase would have been one out of 2,000. Next up we have the Winter Soldier limited to 8,000 pieces. Now this was a Fungo Shop exclusive exclusive but as you guys can see no fungo shop exclusive sticker on here i actually picked this up from pop culture because i missed the fungo drop here in europe in the uk um actually yeah, sorry i didn't show you there there is the soda the chase version is just metallic so the, exactly the same figure just metallic so it should be fairly obvious to distinguish if we do in fact pull the chase so yeah i'm just not sure when they come from pop culture if they don't come with a sticker but normally they're restricted when it is a fungo shop exclusive and this wasn't so yeah not too sure happy to have got it though and add it into my marvel soda collection so apologies for all the rustling here here we go i did have a little sneak peek it doesn't look well it's a bit hard to tell there with the arm but i don't think it is metallic because I think the whole of the figure is supposed to be metallic. I guess we'll find out with the pog. And yeah, it is just the common version there, guys, on that kind of grey background. Winter Soldier, one out of 6,700. Wait, what did I say the full thing was? 8,000, so yeah, one in 1,300 for the chase. We have our final Marvel soda, guys. It is Moon Knight, limited to 15,000 pieces. There is the figure. The chase version is glow in the dark, so it will be exactly the same, just glow in the dark. At least I think it's exactly the same. Uh, we'll know again from that kind of textured glow paint. Here we go, then. Moon Knight. Did anyone enjoy the Moon Knight show? I did. I, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, different bit more kind of horror like than I certainly expected uh, with like the MCU. Same with like Doctor Strange, uh, the second movie. I felt that was very horror-ish, kind of borderline scary I thought for kids, you know. But maybe it did have a slightly higher age rating. I don't know if Moon Knight will come back. I'd, I'd watch it again, to be honest. Like I said, I thought it was pretty decent. Struggling to get him out, but there we go guys. There is Moon Knight and to be honest, yeah, it doesn't feel textury at all, so I think we have just got the common. It's still fairly cool. I do quite like uh, the look of it. Uh, fairly decent soda. Very, very white. Here we go then. Yep, yeah, it is just the common. Fairly cool pog there, if you guys can see that. There we go. It is in focus for you now. One out of 12,500. So yeah, the chase, one out of 2,500. Then on to DC, guys. We have Batman Beyond Limited to 8,500 pieces. This is a Fungo Shop exclusive. There is the common. The chase has more red accents and glows in the dark. This one's a little bit of a cheat. It's still unique to this video, but I have actually opened up this one before. I actually got this for free with an order of Fungo. In fact, I've got two of these. There's another one right there. I may actually just open that one up right now if I don't actually pull the chase here. So last time I did pull the common. So it would be pretty cool to pull the chase. It would be cool to pull a chase now anyway because this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our eighth can. We've only pulled one chase so far. It's a bit annoying. Kind of want more. Let's see then. This one will be fairly obvious. Like I said, there are uh, more red accents. Um, on the chase, but struggling to get him out the bag. I think we're nearly there. Man, he's a toughie. I'm staying in there. There we go. Right, finally out. Oh, hey, it is the chase. Whoa, hey. That's what I mean, guys, by the, um, the like, red accent. You can see much more, and this all does, I believe, glow in the dark. Yeah, that's very, very cool that we did actually pull the chase this time. 
yeah, looking at it for myself for the first time. Very, very cool there, Batman Beyond. Let's just double check the pog. The, ooh, you know what? That's a pretty cool pog as well, because it's kind of got like the uh, glow accents, if you guys can make that out, kind of going around the figure. And it says, you found the chase, glowing Batman Beyond, one out of 1400. Continuing with DC guys, next up we have Dr. Fate limited to 8,000 pieces. There is a look at the figure for you guys. The chase is glow in the dark. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same, just with that glow feature. There's no actual um, hole here for me to get into easily. So I had to break out the knife. Here we go then. So I don't think, yeah, I think this is from like um, like a comic book version, Justice League. I don't think it's from the Black Adam movie, which I still haven't even seen, by the way. Obviously, I haven't heard great things about it, even though I'm a big fan of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. But let's go here then, guys, with Dr. Fate. What do we have? Bit hard to tell. It kind of looks shiny here in the light as if it's metallic, but I'm positive the um, the chase was glow. He doesn't feel like there's none of that texture uh, that you would expect from a glow soda or glow, glow anything for that matter with that textured paint. Still a pretty cool one though. Yep, it is just the common. There it is on that kind of goldish uh, pog background one out of six thousand seven hundred was it eight thousand it was indeed so the chase would be one out of thirteen hundred next up we have the john stewart green lantern limited to twelve thousand five hundred pieces this was the new york comic-con exclusive there is the figure for you guys once again the chase is glow in the dark so we've only pulled one so far would be cool to get a few more because i'm pretty sure on my list there were a few more that could be glow in the dark like I said, we'll check all the glows out at the end. Another interesting thing, the sticker actually on the inside of the wrapper. I wish they would do that for more things. They, they didn't used to do it for sodas, then it opened well easily, and then they started to put it on the inside. But I wish they'd start doing it with movie posters and some of those other things, because it is pretty annoying. But here we go. John Stewart, Green Lantern. Can't say I'm the biggest Green Lantern fan. Um, more so, like... I've just never, not that I've not ever got into it, I've never really just given it much of a chance, even though I have tons of Green Lantern graphic novels, I don't think you guys can quite see them there, um, that I got as part of like this big Eagle Moss graphic novel series. I've just never read them. I want to because, you know, everyone talks highly of them. And um, yeah, I really want to get into Green Lantern, especially before some of the newer DC stuff comes out. But here we go then, guys. Here is Jon Stewart. And yeah, again, it feels... Very plasticky, none of that um, that textured paint that I feel like I keep going on about uh, has the green lantern ring there. So let's double check. It is indeed just the common. Again, a fairly cool pog though with that kind of greenish uh, sort of glow, shadow, whatever you want to call it there on the side of the face. So one out of 10,500. So yeah, the chase would have been one out of 2,000. Final soda in our Marvel slash DC category, guys. We have Two-Face limited to 5,500 pieces. There again is the soda, but it is just a metallic chase. I'm pretty certain it is the same mold. Uh, yeah, this from the uh, the classic Batman animated series. Huge, huge fan of it. Um, I wouldn't say a massive part of my childhood. More like X-Men and um, Spider-Man in terms of the animated. I was kind of not necessarily more into. They were just kind of more readily available for me than the Batman animated series, even though this came first. Uh, but I did watch a ton of this as a kid as well, and like, who didn't? Loads of people love that, uh, that animated series. And uh, Kevin Conroy, man, rest in peace, like, he was Batman, right? All these actors who play Batman, but to me, he was the voice of Batman. Such a, such a tragic loss, really. But here we go then, guys. We have Two-Face right here, which looks very, very cool, but I don't think it is the metallic version. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but man, the face, the like other side of the face does look really, really cool. I do like that a lot. Here is the pog then. Yep, yeah, it is. Wow. Odd numbers here, man. So there's the pog for the common. Very, very cool. And as you can see, one out of 4,000, I've actually already forgot, 4,584. So this is where maths comes into place. What did I say? 5,500. So... 
Uh, da, 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 what, 16 for 916, if my mess is up to speed. And now moving on to our TV category, guys. First up, we have Song Ji Hung from Squid Game, limited to 9,000 pieces. There is the common version. The chase version is him bloody. Was it ever going to be anything else, right? Uh, odd that these, like they're making the other character, I forget what her name is, player number 67, they're making her as a soda now as well, but it seems like so late. I know season two is coming, but like the whole furor around Squid Game kind of died down a bit, right? And maybe it will come back though with season two. I'm struggling to get into this one. There we go. So let's see if we get this. I loved Squid Game though. I, I love Asian cinema in general, to be honest. I've always been a fan of it. Uh, from kind of my teenage years, used to watch a lot um, of well, Asian movies, right? Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and not just martial arts stuff, a lot of the horror stuff as well. So, yeah, always been a big fan of Asian cinema. But here we go then, guys. Did we get another chase or not? We did not. There is no blood on him. But he does have his... Uh, Dalgona? Is that what they were called? Dalgona cookies? I think that's what they were called. Player number 456 there on the back as well so you know what? i'm still quite happy with that I, I think i'm like the chase version bloodied is fairly cool but i do like the fact that he has the uh, the dalgona cookie right there let's just double check the pog there it is guys on that green background and it's got here song ji hun one out of seven thousand five hundred meaning that chase is one out of fifteen hundred then we have ted lasso from his namesake show limited to ten thousand pieces there is the common, the chase is him just with a cap. Love Ted Lasso. I still haven't watched the latest season. Is it finished yet? I don't think it's finished quite yet, season three. But um, yeah, I'll get around to watching it eventually when it does finish. That's kind of what I meant to say. I'm going to binge it once it's all finished. So here we go, guys. Would love to get the chase because it's pretty cool with a cap. But I need another chase. We've only got two so far. Did we get it then, guys? Oh, we did! So cool. We have our third chase. And, uh, well, I, I'm calling this a cap. I don't know if there's like, a specific name for it where you have no, like, top, right? I'm just going to go with cap. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. The smiley face, the tash there. Jason Sudeikis plays the character so well. Like I said, I really do love the show. There we go then, guys. There is the pog, and it says on the back, you found the chase, Ted Lasso, with Visor. I guess that's what it's called then. One out of 1,600. And from one character I love, guys, to another, we have Ron Swanson here from Parks and Rec, limited to 6,000 pieces. There is the common, the chase version is here. It's like the snake juice. If, anyway, if you don't know the episode, you really won't know what I'm talking about, um, but it's from that snake juice episode when they get like really drunk and messed up. But uh, yeah, I love Ron Swanson. Love of Parks and Rec. He's got to be one of my favorite characters of all time in television. It was just so, so funny. Brilliantly played by Nick Offerman. I just love the character so much. Absolutely hilarious. Here we go then. Let's see. Uh, they're fairly different figures, so it will be pretty obvious to tell. But uh, I don't know. I quite, I, I quite like the common one, to be honest. But um, certainly wouldn't be upset if I was to get another chase. But here we go then, guys. What did we get? We did indeed get the common. I'm not upset about that by any means. Ron there with his mug. It does just match the uh, the common Fungo Pop release of his as well, which I do have in my collection. Still need to get quite a few of the Parks and Rex ones, though some of them are now quite expensive. Here is the Pog then, guys. Uh, on that kind of bluish turquoise background, looking pretty cool. Ron Swanson, one out of 5,000. Was it 6,000, did I say? I did indeed. So yeah, the chase would have been one out of 1,000. And then we have our first of two Stranger Things sodas, guys. We have Steve Harrington here, limited to 7,000 pieces. There is the common, the chase version is him with gloves and sunglasses from that episode, uh, which was season two. I think it was season two, right, if I'm not mistaken. He goes with uh, with Dustin to go and find uh, Dot. I think that's what it was. Something like that, right? Let's see, though, if we are going to be lucky to get the chase. I don't actually own this Fungo Pop, but I did pre-order it. it. It did restock on Fungo Europe. It was a fair few months ago now, but uh, Double Box Toys actually did a whole bunch of restocks of like common uh, pops that were... I don't know if they were necessarily vaulted, but like very difficult to now get. 
And uh, this was one of them, and I did actually pre-order with them, but that was back in July last year. Still haven't received it, so yeah, don't know what's going to happen with that. We'll have to see. But what did we do in terms of the soda? We got the common guys. Uh, yeah, it just has yellow gloves and sunglasses there uh, for the chase. If you guys were wondering, has that guitar? Wait, is it? No, it's not guitar. What am I saying? It's the uh, barbed wire bat, isn't it? Uh, in the back that he uses. But uh, yeah, pretty cool little soda. And just to show the pog off to you guys, also on a blue background with that kind of cartoony design, Steve Harrington, one out of 5,800, meaning the chase is one out of 1,200. And then our second Stranger Things soda, guys, and our final one from the TV category is the Demogorgon limited to 12,500 pieces. There is the common for you guys. The chase is with the mouth open. Let's see. I do... I'm trying to think what they did with Fungo Bops. There was one with like the mouth closed, wasn't there? Was that... I think that was the chase. I, I think the common one was, was with the mouth open and the uh, chase was with the mouth closed, if I am remembering. Oh, drop the uh, lid there. My Stranger Things collection is kind of buried. Having... Like, I've got loads of them, but I'm still missing probably a 10 or 15, but most of them are like the expensive ones now, which is a little bit annoying, but... Here we go then guys, this one will be pretty obvious in terms of the shape. It is the common with the mouth closed, which is a bit of a shame. I think the mouth open one probably would look really, really cool. It's just like this really weird looking soda though. It almost kind of feels a bit icky to hold even, to be honest. Um, yeah, it just looks very, very weird. Here is the Pognan guy. <laughs> even that looks very weird. Um, I'm not going to say anything else on that. Demogorgon, one out of 10,500. So yeah, the chase, one out of 2,000. And now guys, we're on to our final category, which is movies. And this is our first of three Lord of the Rings sodas. Here we have Frodo, limited to 10,000 pieces. There is the common version for you guys. The chase version is just with a hood. So let's see. Let me know in the comment section below. Were you guys... Like, big Lord of the Rings fans. I personally wasn't. Like, I really liked it. I thought they were, like, they just were magnificent looking movies, but there were just some parts of the stories I was like, meh, meh, some of the characters, you know. So I wouldn't say I was a massive fan of it, but I certainly appreciated the, uh, like, the filmmaking design and everything behind it. And, um, yeah, still some of them are good. I personally like The Two Towers the best, which I feel is the one that's, um, uh, like, least... Like, they're all highly regarded, but it's like the has like the least uh, rating, I think, on like uh, Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. But that one was my favorite, to be honest. But here we go with Frodo Baggins. It is just the common guys. As I said, the chase is just with a hood. Still a fairly cool little soda there with that dagger. Fairly decent, like I said. And then here is the Pog for you guys. Again, that kind of cartoony design. And it's one out of 8,400. So yeah, the chase would have been one out of 1,200. Second Lord of the Rings soda, guys. Here we have Sauron limited to 8,000 pieces. There is the common version. The chase version is him with a weapon. It may even be metallic. I'm not entirely too sure. I, I was just really looking at pictures. I, I really should have looked at descriptions and things like that. But here we go then. Sauron. I think the soda looks really cool from like the images I've seen, but which version will we put on? Ah, there we go. I was having trouble finding the uh, like bit of tape um, holding this together. But man, this one is tough. There's like quite a few like sort of sharp edges, I guess, with his helmet. There we go. We finally got it off. What did we get, guys? We got... I actually can't tell from here. No, it is just the common. I thought he had a weapon there for a second, but he's just holding up the uh, like his finger with the ring. But yeah, as you guys can see, some pretty sharp points there, but it's a very, very cool looking sword. I mean, it, in the light, it kind of looks metallic, but I'm not too sure. Like I said, the chase is him with a weapon. But um, yeah, very, very cool looking soda there, I do have to say. Here's the Pog to make sure, yeah, 
there it is guys on that kind of grayish background fairly cool looking pob pog pardon me one out of six thousand seven hundred what did i say yeah eight thousand so the chase was one out of thirteen hundred final lord of the ring soda guys is arwen limited to seven thousand five hundred pieces this was a wintercon exclusive there is the common the chase is also with a weapon i believe it's a sword if i am not mistaken so let's go for this then can we pull another chase only three chases so far and we're not far from the end though i guess if you count that one in six well we've got 25 what does that mean i should get four chases five if i'm lucky ish i suppose but here we go then guys what did we get with arwin we got da, 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 da. Ah, it is the common again i thought maybe that was the sword right there i couldn't really tell in my camera screen but yeah it is just the common version there of Arwen still a fairly cool decent little soda and here is the pog for you guys on that kind of purplish background one out of 6250 so the what 1250 if my ass is right for the chase next up guys we have Patrick Bateman from American Psycho limited to 15,000 pieces I feel this may have been like a fungo shop exclusive it was some kind of exclusive I know when it first released it was uh, restricted on pop culture to shipping to the UK and then something obviously changed and I don't believe it ever dropped in the UK if it did um, you know someone correct me in the comment section below pardon me I didn't show you guys the uh, the common version there it is the chase version again if you haven't guessed is bloody I do actually own the uh, the three fungi box of this there was the one with a knife and then there were pretty much the ones that are I, I think exactly the same as this where you had the common and then the bloody chase I do actually own all three of them haven't like checked out my horror collection for a long time I do have a couple of decent pieces in there I know I've got Billy from Saw um who else have i got now i've got like jason Voorhees, freddy krueger michael myers pinhead from hellraiser there's a few others in there but um yeah we're getting ahead of ourselves guys this is the fungo soda video oh oh no ah i got excited for a second there because i didn't realize the common still had this um this uh, i guess sheet that protects his suit from the blood it's very cool actually by the way it's like um it is like this uh well it's plastic but i don't know what kind of material you would call that it's not like a hard plastic if that makes sense so that is fairly cool would have been cool to get the chase where he's all bloody um american psycho of course christian bale uh really like it's a good movie but it's it's like very very weird as well right but i did enjoy it still here is the pog then guys patrick bateman looking pretty menacing with that white background one out of twelve thousand five hundred so the chase is one out of two thousand five hundred and next up guys we have the predator which is limited to eight thousand pieces there is the common version for you the chase version is without the mask now i wouldn't mind either of them because i think they both look really cool but i do really want another chase we've only had three chases so far and we are nearing the end. I'm pretty sure I hit like five or six last time. I know I definitely hit 11 in that 50 soda video. But yeah, pretty sure I got more than this last time. Only three so far. Come on. Come on. Give me at least one more chase. Because we've only got we've only got one regular soda after this. And then we've got those two three liter ones as well. So let's see guys. Here we go then. The packaging is off we have it's the common once again but as i said i like i really do like both versions and the common one here is really cool lots of detail here in this soda if i give you guys a quick 360 as well because the back does look pretty cool got to be one of my favorite sodas i have to say but yeah still would have been cool to get a chase here is the pog then for you guys which does also have this awesome design on it one out of six thousand seven hundred meaning the chase i'm just double checking yeah it was oh pardon me there it is in focus now for you guys one out of six thousand seven hundred so yeah the chase would have been one out of thirteen hundred and this is our final regular size soda guys it is queen amadala from star wars the phantom menace limited to ten thousand pieces there is a look at the soda for you guys the chase is just metallic metallic would look pretty cool though because of her outfit the golds and everything like that come on I need this one to really be a chase. Um, Phantom Menace I loved. 
love the prequel um, prequel trilogy, pardon me, I don't mind getting my words all muddled up there. And Natalie Portman has been one of my celebrity crushes forever. I feel like, like she's a bit older than me, but like I just remember her from like Leon, Heat, Mars Attacks. It's like I've, I've grown up with her and she's just become incredibly beautiful and I've just become incredibly massively handsome as well with the money maker as i said at the start of the video guys but here we go then with queen amidala you know what i actually forgot star wars sodas are uh bobble heads um because i was like what is going on is this broken but no it's just a bobble head there we go then guys i did look down just to make sure it was all intact i don't think it is metallic could be wrong doesn't look like it yet <laughs> what the soda like the way the head's kind of tilted looks a bit eerie if you ask me um, still a really cool one though of course they do also come on bases like the Star Wars sodas but let's see did we get the chase we did not guys there it is on that kind of orangey background oh I kept saying Queen Amidala it's actually uh, Padme Amidala man even though she's kind of in a queen outfit really so uh wait I've forgotten already one out of 8400 meaning the chase that metallic chase one out of 1600 and to finish things up guys we have two three liter sodas we have the Maleficent Dragon as well as Juggernaut from the X-Men both were New York Comic Con exclusives Juggernaut is 10,000 pieces Maleficent is 15,000 wait I'm showing you guys the wrong thing there 15,000. We'll do Maleficent first then. The chase version of this I think is glitter and then there's like flames at the bottom. Now I've never pulled a three litre chase yet but I think I have only opened three of them so far. There was the Baymax one, the Iron Giant one and the Wumper from uh, Star Wars. I don't think I've opened up any others um, but let's see really need like at least one more chase to make this video well not to make this video successful i haven't got any of these sodas anyway so it's not like i can be disappointed um in what i've got but it would have just been nice to get more chases i am really struggling with this one guys give me a second all right i finally got the bottom off guys did we get the chase i don't think we did i'm not seeing any green flames here at the bottom no we did not still really cool though i do like these three liter sodas quite a bit to be honest i think they have some nice detail on them maleficent like i wouldn't say i'm the biggest fan of it but i did still enjoy it. i haven't seen the second one uh but this dragon it just does look really really cool i do like the detail on it like i said i think they do a really good job with these three liter sodas um I, I definitely want to try and pick up the hulk as well as the all might one they just haven't been released over here in the uk yet like so many fungo pops recently especially fungo shop exclusives don't know what's going on it is really really annoying here is the pog just to show you guys i actually forgot they put these uh in wrappers the bigger pogs there it is very very cool though you have to say and it's got maleficent as the dragon on the back one out of twelve thousand five hundred meaning the chase is one out of two thousand five hundred Alrighty, guys our final soda our final chance for a chase now, having said that i kind of prefer the common version to this one the chase is with the helmet slightly broken love juggernaut i think i mentioned it earlier was a big fan of the x-men animated series in the 90s can't wait for uh, X-Men 97, is it this year it finally drops? I think it is, can't wait for that. I always loved Gambit, he was my favorite, but uh, Juggernaut, without question, was my favorite bad guy. I really did like him a lot. Hopefully I can get into this one a bit more easily. I think we can, maybe not. Bear with me another second, guys. Alrighty, guys, moment of truth. Like I said, I do prefer the common version, but do I want to chase because I've only got three out of 24 sodas? yeah i kind of do but here we go what do we get it is the common i'm not torn up about it like i said i do prefer the common version of this but man three chases only out of 25 unique funko sodas dude that is crazy speaking of crazy that's what this figure is all about so cool like i said big fan of juggernaut uh, from my childhood days really do like this I'll give you guys a quick look at the pog so you guys 
can see that as well. There it is, there on that white background. Again, going back to the whole international thing uh, versus the US thing. Eight, that one, pardon me, out of 8,400, meaning the chase is one out of 1,600. And well, there we go, guys. 25 unique fungo sodas up. We only pulled three chases. A little bit disappointing, but I know it's like, it's not really one in six uh, when you've bought a whole bunch of singles, right? It's one in six of that particular one. So I'm not really a mathematician, so I don't really know what all the odds are, but I definitely know it's not one in six. So although I may have been hoping to get like four or five chases, still to get three, not too bad. And I can't really complain because a lot of these sodas, I don't, well, I say a lot of them, apart from the, well, no, you know what? The Batman Beyond one, I pulled the chase. So in fact, I didn't own any of the sodas that I pulled in today's video, which is pretty cool. Speaking of that Batman Beyond one, let's quickly check out the glow on it. And there we go, guys. That is going to do it for today's video. First and foremost, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments below out of all the sodas I opened up today. Which one was your favorite and what sodas have you guys bought recently? And as always, we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys. In about six months time, we should have another unique Fungo Soda video. I am joking, guys. It does just depend as and when sodas come out. I'm not really too interested in the sodas that don't have peace counts, although the Star Wars ones coming very soon. I can't remember if they were Attack of the Clones or Clone Wars versions. Either way, I will definitely be grabbing those, but I'm not really too interested in the others. What Shazam, Wakanda Forever, uh, they do like Marvel What If. There's a bunch of the ones without peace counts, which honestly don't really interest me too much so it depends when stuff comes out when it comes in and how many we can get maybe i can limit this video more to like 20 unique fungo sodas maybe it would be a little bit easier but yeah plenty more fungo pops statues figures we want to get back to lego here on the channel we've got tons like our lego collection is huge but we are kind of really running out of space so we can't showcase it too much but we do want to show some of it off and that will all come in the weeks and months ahead so make sure you stay tuned for all of that and more what is the easiest way to stay tuned you ask it's very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content guys thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you on the next one Peace out, nerds.